Hey y'all, um, let me start off by saying, is God good or what? As the song says, Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound. Um, I'm gonna start off by reading the entry from my journal. Um, an entry from my journal, it's like my diary, I know. <laughs> well, I guess this page won't be, pri won't be private. Um, <laughs> It's my Friday, October 7th, 2011 entry. It reads, I was on the way to school this morning, spending time with God. I went through my iPod and decided to play a Christian song called More Beautiful You by Johnny Diaz. I listened. God, as I listened, God threw a thought into my head. I seemed to have forgotten uh, once again the purpose of my Indiana Jones outfit. Which I no longer wear, by the way. Um, the purpose, it was a reminder that I am the Indiana Jones of the spirit. My motive is different from that of any other cosplay. What are my, what are their motives? Most of them was, well, one time I met another cosplay whose motive was, um, his, his was just tired of people telling him what to wear. Some other people are, they're just such a big fan. But mine, I'm the Indiana Jones of the Spirit, and y'all should be too. I want to take a moment to describe to you what Indiana Jones of the Spirit is. But also, um, before I begin, I want to cite this um, part right here. I would like to cite a line from a book called The Gospel According to the World's Greatest Superhero, written by Stephen Skelton. This is from page 79 of the book. It's the Christian's task to follow the example of Christ and bring the revelation of what the story means. But spiritual truth is calling out to people from that story. Um, in other words, um, we should, God has, a, God can speak to you through anything. Like, like, like as that book, The Gospel According to the World's Greatest Superhero, um, shows. You can get messages about God from just the idea of Superman. And and you can learn about God through Superman. Or you can learn about God through what I'm about to teach you about God through. Indiana Jones. So, hope y'all enjoy. It is written in Psalms 86, 1 through 17. Hear me, Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and needy. Guard my life, for I am faithful to you. Save your servant who trusts in you. You are my God. Have mercy on me, Lord, for I call on you all day long. Bring joy to your servant, Lord, for I put my trust in you. You, Lord, are forgiving and good, abounding in love to all who call to you. Hear my prayer, Lord. Listen to my cry for mercy. When I am in distress, I call to you because you answer me. Among the gods, there is none like you, Lord. No deeds can compare to yours. All the nations you have made will come and worship before you, Lord. They will bring glory to your name. <clears throat> For you are great and do marvelous deeds. You alone are God. Teach me your way, Lord, that I may rely on your faithfulness. Give me an undivided heart that I may fear your name. I will praise you, Lord, my God, with all my heart. I will glorify your name forever. For great is your love towards me. You have delivered me from the depths, from the realm of the dead. Arrogant foes are attacking me, O oh God. Ruthless people are trying to kill me. They have no regard for you. But you, Lord, are a compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in love and faith. Turn to me and have mercy. Show your strength in behalf of your servant. Save me because I serve you just as my mother did. Give me a sign of your goodness that my enemies may see it and put, may be put to shame. For you, Lord, have helped me and comforted me. Alright, so I'm going to tie this in with my first comparison between the Bible and Indiana Jones. Um, in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, directed by Steven Spielberg, Indy never stopped seeking after the cross of Coronado. In the same way, we should never stop seeking after the Lord. Alright, um, now we're going to switch to Temptation. Um, Indiana, Jones is Indiana Jones is cautious of snakes. Which in the Bible, snakes represent temptation. The, also, the torch that used 
that it's a torch that Indiana Jones used in Raiders of the Lost Ark, directed by Steven Spielberg, to keep away the snakes could represent represent the word of God. The comparison makes this situation a bit similar to Jesus using the word of God in response to Satan's attempts to tempt him in Matthew 4, 1 through 11. I forgot to about that. Okay, so Matthew 4, 1 through 11. I'll read that to y'all once I get to it. Alright, Matthew 4, 1 through 11. I posted before Romans, before John, before Luke, before Mark. Yes, oh, that's, here's Matthew. Oh, Matthew what? 4, 1 through 11. Hello, Matthew. <laughs> 4, 1 through 11. Matthew 4, 1 through 11. Sorry, it takes so long. Okay, four, four, one, two, oh, here we go. Then, was Jesus, then was Jesus led up to the, led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, he was afterwards hungry. And when the tempter, tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Then the devil t taketh him up into the holy city, and setteth him on a pinnacle of the temple, and said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up. Lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Jesus said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Again, the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain, and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world, and the glory of them. And saith unto him, All these things will I give to thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then, saith Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. Alright. This is where are we? Um, alright. Now before we begin with this next part, um, I w once again, I would like to mention how God once again showed me that He really is there. I told the Lord I could not remember the spot in the Bible that talked about not judging others and leaving that for God to deal with. Sure enough, He told me to turn to Colossians. The first page I came across in Colossians, not the beginning of Colossians, but the first page I flipped to in Colossians, was the spot, the spot I was looking for. Praise the Lord. Alright, so, um, anyhow. In Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, directed by Steven Spielberg, Mac warns a KGB agent not to judge Indy by saying, Don't get clever, Boris. You do not know him. Now, I see a message in that. The Bible warns us not to judge others based on their mistakes. The only one who knows enough to judge is God. All right. Matt, Mike? For it is written, Colossians 2, 16 and 17. Therefore, do not let anyone judge you by what you eat or drink, or with regard to a religious festival, a new moon celebration, or a Sabbath day. These are a shadow of the things that were to come. The reality, however, is found in Christ. Alright. 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 So. Once again, in Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, directed by Steven Spielberg, Mac betrays Indy. In the end of the film, even though Mac was a traitor, Indy attempted to save Mac's life. In a familiar way, Jesus was still willing to heal the fear of the soldier brought by Judas, who had turned against him. Alright, and I will be reading from Luke 22, 47-51. Let's turn to Luke. Luke what? Uh, Luke 22, 47 through 51. Luke, 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 Four, uh, 22. 22. I just ripped the page. Oh, no, I didn't. I thought it was you. 
Or tiny rip, but almost. Luke 22. Alright, Luke, Luke 22. Um, it's 47 through 51. 47 to 51. Alright. In Luke 47, I mean in Luke 22, 47 through 51, it is written. And while he yet spake, behold a multitude. And he that was called Judas, one of the twelve, went before them, and drew near unto Jesus to kiss him. But Jesus said unto him, Judas, betrayest thou the Son of Man with a kiss? When they which and when they which were about about him saw what would follow, they said unto him, Lord, shall we smite smite with a sword? And one of them smote the servant of the high priest and cut it off his right ear. And Jesus answered and said, Suffer ye thus far, and touched him his ear, and healed him. All right, and then the final comparison is in Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, directed by Steven Spielberg. Um, in Temple of Doom, Indy takes a beating from his own whip in order to save the children of a poor village located in India. In a similar way, as mentioned in 1 Peter 2.24, I will let you, I will let Mike share it. All right, in 1 Peter 2.24, it is written, he himself bore our sins and his body for the cross, so that we might die to sin and live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. All right. So, you want to close in a prayer? No, you want to start the closing prayer? No, finish sure. it. All right. All right, guys, we're gonna pray. Bow your heads. Uh, dear God, I uh, thank you for this time that we spent together, Father. And I just pray for uh, anybody that's watching this, Father, that's going through a hard time, or just you know, in this word with us, Dad. I just pray you just speak to their lives, Dad. Um, God, I just pray you just uh, bless that family, God, whatever they're going through, Dad. And I just pray, Father, that uh, you just become more real to them each day. May they experience your grace and your glory in a whole new way that they haven't even imagined yet. So, uh, Dad, I just pray for everyone out there and us too right here, Father, that God, uh, we're here for you, Dad. And uh, you bought us with your blood, Dad. And you sent your son on the cross to die for us, Dad. And that's so, it's such a huge thing, Dad, that um, you would give your only son for somebody that might not even recognize you in their lives. But, Dad, you did it anyway because you love us that much. So, Dad, we thank you for what you've done for us and what you will do for us, Dad. We just give you the glory for this time. And Lord, I pray that I pray that through this message I just read, that is not my message, but your message, Lord. I pray, Lord, that it speaks to others and it speaks to Mike and I as well as, as we go in the future and have to recall this message. Lord, I pray, Lord, that um, you that you just be with those that um, whether or not they know they need you. I pray, Lord, that you provide them with what they need, Lord. Yeah. And Lord, I pray, Lord, that that more souls just seek after you and just. Long after you, after your heart and your love and your salvation, Lord. And I pray, Lord, that people love you not, not love you because you first loved them, as it says in the Bible, Lord. In your name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.